evening. Now, Singapore-based angel investment network Think You Wait has launched its first India-focused fund. Now, Think You Wait Fund One has a corpus of 100 crore rupees. The fund will look to invest in tech startups across sectors. The fund launch will be announced via roadshows across cities in a phased manner. Joining us now to discuss this further is Gansham Ahuja, the founding partner of Think You Wait, and with me, my colleague Ritu. Uh, Mr. Ahuja, thank you so much for taking time out and being on the show with us today. Uh, you know, you've announced the launch of your first India-focused fund. You've already been investing in India's startup ecosystem over the last seven years. So elaborate on why the India Focus Fund now and what will the investment strategy look like? Thank you, Renati. Uh, I hope you can hear me. Yes, we can hear you clear. Okay, good. So thank you, Renati, for uh, getting me on this uh, show for startups. Uh, you know, as you rightly said, I think you has been operating from last almost nine years now. Uh, we were more of an advisory firm for startups. And as you can imagine, India being shining from last 10 plus years in startups. So what we have seen is uh, more and more our investments are going towards India, uh, besides we do in Singapore and US. And over a period of time, we built a portfolio of almost 60% startups uh, out of India. So when we had earlier... But when last two years, we started seeing a lot of interest coming from uh, Indians in India, and hence, we thought we should have a proper structure uh, in India. And that's why this India Fund, uh, and we are happy to share with you that SEBI uh, uh, approved our license in just 35 days' time, which is like amazing. And that uh, that really shows that they looked at our uh, background and they looked at our profile, and that helped us to get this fund. Well, Gansham, hi. This is Ritu. Uh, a quick question on when we'll see the first close of this 100 crore fund that you've announced and how many startups have you identified that you will invest in? So, Ritu, good question. Uh, we are planning to have our first close by this quarter uh, and uh, we are planning to have 12 to 15 companies invested over this year. So, you're going to invest in 12 to 15? And, uh, yeah, 12 to 15 startups, uh, which is what we'll be, we'll be uh, investing in India. And more, as you rightly said, in different, uh, you know, uh, different sectors. And uh, we'll be investing, like, say, up to 3 crores uh, each company. All right, up to three crores in each company. So 12 to 15 startups via this fund. Have you already deployed these funds? Who are you in talks with at this point in time? So uh, as we speak, I am currently in Raipur. Uh, right. And uh, glad to share with you uh, that even cities like Ra Raipur, Nagpur, which is where we started our launch, we do see a lot of good startups coming in. We already have some startups in pipeline. As you know, we have been working quite a lot. Uh, so there are startups... Uh, you know, into EV, uh, there are startups into uh, D2C, uh, there are startups into AI, which are coming up now. So we are already having two companies in pipeline and there are three, four, which has just pitched to us now after uh, we have announced the, the launch of this fund. So we have a very, very strong pipeline, which we have a, uh, you know, a very robust due diligence process, which we try to try to adopt. And uh, hopefully, even by this quarter, once we finish our first close, we will have at least one or two companies already identified and uh, confirmed for investment. Okay, you said EV, D2C and AI companies, but largely the idea for this fund is to invest in tech startups. You know, that's a very broad category, something that every investor is looking at today. But give us a sense of, you know, what kind of themes are looking more exciting to you besides these two, three, uh, of course, sectors that you've highlighted. So the, the, the thesis of our you know, fund is more what we call tech-enabled, scalable businesses which have impact on life. Uh, so what I mean by this is uh, we have a company in portfolio called uh, Vidya Kool, uh, which is giving impact to the smaller villages by going vernacular based you know, online tutoring. We have a company called Cure Skin, which has an impact on uh, providing, uh, you know, the skin cure uh, kits using AI application. So we are more into uh, health tech, consumer tech, uh, or, uh, you know, compliance tech, retail tech. So these are the kind of themes which will be going, going towards. And more so we'll try to see it should have some impact in tier two, three, and four cities of India. And uh, tech enabled makes it more scalable. Right. So, so that's, that's that's the whole idea of having these kind of thesis. Right. You know, you you just said that you were going, you're in Raipur looking at these companies, right? So you've said that you're launching this fund via roadshows in emerging startup hubs like Nagpur, Raipur, and Chennai. So what's the thinking behind this? Why aren't you going for the usual suspects, like, you know, whether it's a Bangalore or a Delhi? What, what are the kind of ideas you're finding out here that's looking more exciting for you? 
So Arundhati, uh, good thing. And you know, you know, these are the crowded markets, as you know, in Bangalore, Chennai. Everybody is there, right? right? And we thought, why should we be going where it's already a crowded place, right? So that's one. And second thing is, you know, uh, it, these are the hardcore problems some of the startups are, you know, solving. Like, like we saw some agro-based uh, startups helping states like Chhattisgarh, Maharashtra, or the regional like Vidarbha, right? So sometimes you may not need a rocket science or a, you know, a space technology to solve the big problem. There are a lot of problems, as you know, our uh, small regions are facing. So rather, we want to approach and make sure that those com companies are given proper weightage and funding and mentoring to really grow what we call Bharat. Yeah. Okay, so you're not looking at startups in the typical metros. You're going beyond that. Uh, what will that mean in terms of your AUM growth, say, over the next few years? What are the targets? And you've had only two exits so far from your portfolio. What else is lined up and what kind of returns are you expecting on those? Good. So uh, we had two good exits. And to the extent, in fact, the second exit, what we got, people were hmm. not even willing to sell too much. And we had our own group uh, we, we, where they did buying and selling of, uh, you know, the shares in that company. Uh, of course, COVID has affected some of our exits, as you can imagine. That's one. Uh, but having said that, most of our companies in our portfolio, I would say more than 13 companies, already are going to series A and series B, which makes us our uh, returns in the range of 28 to 30 percent IRR. And, uh, you know, over a period of like, say, five years investment period or a horizon, we look for five years. So that's that's the range of uh, uh, returns we are expecting, at least 28 to 30 percent. All right. So those are the kind of returns you're expecting. If you could, in 30 seconds, tell us you've been investing in firms globally, right? How are investors viewing the India startup story? It's amazing, Arundhati. I can tell you, recently we invited some of our cohort uh, companies to Singapore just last week. And uh, uh, we were amazed by the kind of interest we saw from VCs. Just within a two weeks of planning, we could attract 40 VCs to come and look at these eight companies, startups, which we brought to Singapore. So that's an immediate testament, I can tell you. And in general, as you know, you know, make in Bharat, make in India, uh, right. India shining, and the overall momentum, what is going on uh, in in India and about India, it's very encouraging. Uh, and, and I would say our our fund has come at the right time. So <laughs> overall, I would say it's a very positive momentum. Number one, people are looking at uh, even elections to be very positive uh, towards the uh, you know the government what they are they're expecting sustainability coming in properly. Right. And uh, it will be very interesting to see uh, you know more and more interest coming from international investors. To India. All right. So uh, India looking positive to all the investors there. And you've come in at the right time. Thank you, Mr. Ahuja, for joining us on the show today. We're completely out of time, but we wish you all the best going forward. Thank you, Arindati and Thank you.